Hi hey everyone. Today we're gonna go to San Diego. Yes. San Diego Comic Con. Not really. Well, it's we're gonna be Comic Con adjacent. Oh yeah. It is going on while we are going there, but we are going to see a friend who's going. Yes. So maybe we'll uh, ask her how it was and what what it was all about. Hi. Hi. So. <laughs> so hopefully we get to talk to her with you guys, and we're gonna have like dinner and junk, and. Um, Let's go. Okay. Right now, it's just me. Don't look, you're embarrassing me. No. All I can see is the bottom of your face. Look, I've got to practice. So, right there now, we're in San Diego with people. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We just had delicious um, seafood, and now we're walking back to a, a hotel bar which isn't as seedy as it sounds. It's totally seedy. Don't what? Trust totally seedy. They're, Very seedy. Don't, totally don't, seedy. Don't, they're, they're not even here seedy. yet. Yeah, maybe we'll have a special conversation here in a minute in bad. San Diego at San Diego Comic Con, which, okay, in all fairness, we didn't go to. But, we're but I did. Yes, and we're yeah. adjacent, so that's that yeah. counts for something. So back in just a minute. So we're standing here with good friend. I hope I can say that. Good friend, Amelia Vlogger. And you can say that. Amelia. I just want to ask you, what is Comic-Con and how did you fall victim to it? <laughs> uh, Comic-Con is... It's a ritual meeting place of nerds that happens in San Diego once a year. We all get together and celebrate those parts of us that are scorned in the other parts of society. So it's very important to okay. come together and do the rituals that make us the fabulous nerds that we are today. And it doesn't hurt your credit score? <sighs> it depends on which rituals you participate in. Some are quite costly, and if you charge those, there can be a problem. Interesting. Yeah. What was your favorite part about Comic-Con this year? Um, my favorite part of Comic-Con this year was standing in a line to get a ticket so I had the right to stand in another line and get my best friend from middle school a book signed by her favorite author. We became best friends in middle school because we both had books with dragons on the cover, and that's all it takes in middle school to become best friends. That's a true story. Dragons are really all it takes in middle school. It's all it takes. Dragons are unicorns, I found. Not that I would know, but I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's so. fascinating. And, okay, and now, I can't, now I can't see anything. James just flashed us. Mm -hmm. Good job. In, not as dirty as you would think. And so not only did I get that book signed for her, but the authors got told the story by the woman that I told the story to in line to get the ticket, to get in the line to get the book, that of the start of our amazing friendship, so they wrote in the book for her, you have the best friend ever. And that was pretty sweet. That's pretty amazing. Lines and dragons and dragons and and dragons and doing lines. Ever. And best friend and, ever. And dragons right. doing lines. So just really quickly, <laughs> like, is there a, is there a good positive LGBT influence or uh, presence at Comic Con? There actually is. There are quite a few LGBTQ panels. I participated in the LGBTQ Year in Review and talked about uh, Beauty and the Beast and how much it fell on its face as a really crappy representation of gay people. Um, and there... Amelia says, see the cartoon, skip the movie. <laughs> Possibly. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm No, just... that, that's not what I'd say, but okay. what I'd say is way too long. 
I don't like Disney. They're not doing a good job. You heard it here first. I, you know, <laughs> bad job. Bad, bad job. Disney. Bad. Bad job, Disney. Mm. Disney has done a great job my entire life of making sure that I knew that girls who looked like me and acted like me did not deserve to be loved. So they need to do better. So not true, though. Did you see Moana get? Yes. Did you like Moana? That's not like that right Okay. So, but they also have a lot of gays in comics panels, gays in horror panels, and then there was a uh, black... LGBTQ uh, people in comics panel, and that was really interesting that I got to see. But no, there's a big presence, and Prism Comics is a really great big force in uh, San Diego Comic Con that helps bring LGBTQ books and movies and comics just to the light of people who are going to comic conventions. Well, that's really awesome. I think so. Well, I hope you had a good time. I had a wonderful time. We've never been to a Comic Con. Maybe next year. Maybe next year we will. Venture in and wade in amongst the 200,000 plus people there. Maybe. It's awesome. Insane. It's awesome. It's so cool. Well, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to. It is my <laughs> pleasure. Get in the shot, dear. Get in the shot. You're fine. Here. All right, fine. All right. So, anyway, so that is all of us. I uh, just wanted to say thanks for watching, and you know where to subscribe, I guess. I don't even know where to subscribe to our own video. You'll so figure it out. You guys it's, it's will right it out. It's right down there. Just click the button. I don't have to subscribe. I own it. So whatever. There you go. But anyway, um, from from San Diego, Comic-Con kind of. Uh, Comic-Con we'll adjacent. Guys, yeah. We'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. 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 Breakfast. Angry breakfast. So we had a really good time last night with Amelia Blogger and uh, San Diego. It was our first time in San Diego, but it was a lot of fun. We got to hang out. Uh, wow, yeah. for quite a while. We got there about six thirty or more. Um, okay, now six hours. Five Maybe and like a half. five hours or so. Five and a half hours. Had a really great, um, really great dinner at, at Jimmy's. Um, Something Tavern, the famous there. Oh, tavern. famous American Tavern. There it is. There's a receipt. So, um, yeah. So we had a really good time. Um, it's hard framing. <laughs> You're hard. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we had a really good time with her, and it was uh, just a lot of fun to hang out. We um, interacted and talked a lot before in the past, um, but this is kind of our first official like in real life meeting. In real life meeting hangout. So uh, that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we're just kind of recovering this morning. <laughs> some uh, of us some more than of us others. More than others. And I uh, just wanted to uh, end the vlog with that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe wherever subscribe pops up. And like the video if you like the video. And click the other videos. And um, yeah, all that good stuff. So we will talk to you guys next time. Uh, oh. We did try to um, we did try to go to Balboa Peninsula, uh, just past Newport. Complete fail. Yeah. Uh, we got there, and not only did we leave a little late, we didn't have enough time to actually do what we were gonna do. But we drove around for a while to find a singular parking space, and it didn't happen. And so we decided to leave, and then we did find like a few parking spaces on the way out, of course, as you do. So we'll try to get out there next time. We have like a little story we want to do and show you guys around that area because that is the area that made us want to move out here to California. So it's a really important area to us. It's a really cool area, really nice, like very small beach town feeling. So we'll get out there eventually when it's not the peak of Saturday and summer and um, the very wrong time of day to go and try to find a parking space. But anyway, uh, again, thank you guys for watching and we will talk to you later. Bye.